Hey guys, here for another episode of Tech Break. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Peak Design Travel Tripod. Just came in the mail last week. Super pumped to open it. This is the carbon fiber edition. The aluminum's a little bit cheaper. Uh, I got this as part of their Kickstarter campaign. That's how they've launched every one of their products. I've been following Peak Design for a long time, have a lot of their products, their camera straps, some of their bags, uh, their camera clip. Um, and so I figured if they came out with a, a better way to do a tripod, I'm in. Before you purists get all over me, um, the main reason I got this is because despite my Mi Photo carbon tripod um, being pretty small and lightweight, it was still a little bit too big and a little bit too tedious to set up. I'll soon have three children and a lot of my use of the tripod is when we're out traveling, I'll take the tripod out of my bag, put my camera on it, take a picture, pack it up, uh, put the camera back in my bag and keep walking. And I just felt on a recent trip like I was taking so much time set, setting up the tripod. And so I wanted one that was a little bit easier to set up. And on top of that, it felt bulky. I was constantly hitting people with it um, as I'd maneuver around uh, in lines at Disneyland or on the airplane or what have you. So Peak Design set out to reinvent the tripod, eliminate some of that dead or empty space in hopes of creating something that's a little more compact, a little easier to travel with. So let's get this thing open. So I gotta be honest, when the box first came, I was like, well, that's a little bit bigger than I thought. But inside the box is actually the bag that it comes in. And as you can see by my reaction in opening this, I am pleasantly surprised. I'm not a very big dude. This is a compact tripod. The case here has their logo on it. It's got a little bit of a texture to it. Uh, you can tell it's gonna be durable. Uh, it's got a little handle here if you want to carry it around. Don't know that I'll ever use that. It's also got a clip right here, uh, which is actually pretty handy. You can clip it to um, a bag or something if you're walking around with it. So let's get this thing open. The zipper comes down about halfway. And when I open this up, it's a thing of beauty. So overall, the tripod's super sturdy. I've got the carbon fiber version, so better be sturdy. The aluminum version's about a hundred, little over a hundred dollars cheaper. I'll put the current prices uh, down below in the description. I can almost, and I don't have very big hands, I can almost wrap my fingers completely around the entire thing, which speaks to how much they've done away with the dead space that you typically see in tripods. So typically you've got a bunch of cylinders kind of stacked together, uh, maybe some foam padding, which I never understood on one of them. Um, with this tripod, they reimagined the legs and they made the legs a different shape. Um, and so the, the legs can all sort of nest together, eliminating a lot of the dead space that you typically have. So I would say it's as small as a water bottle, but it's pretty dang small and, and will be a lot easier to carry around. It's got the uh, flip locking mechanisms on the legs. So if you're not a fan of those, then that's fine. It seems like you're either in one camp or the other, the, the twist versus the flip, uh, but that's the way these are. There's a little tool here that comes along. I, uh, for my current tripod, I actually carry a separate tool in my bag all the time, so it's actually really nice that it sticks right in there by the leg. The head extends up by rotating this little knob and then pulling this neck up. Let's talk about the tripod head because it's a little different than others you've seen. It's a brand new design and there's some, some pluses and minuses to it. So first of all, to release the camera, there's this little button here. So if you just push down on the button, that will free the plate, the base plate, um, and you can remove your camera. Now I've got it locked at this time, which is also a nice little feature. But if I just turn this little guy around, then I'll be able to press this down and take the base plate off. It's a nice little feature to keep your camera rather safe um, and then you can just snap it right back on there. There's a pin, you can see this one right here, there's one on either side to keep the plate from sliding off of the side of the camera. There's also a level here on top to so that you know when you're level. Now if you've got your legs down and the legs are all the same length, this plate is going to sit here level regardless, but once you raise this neck by loosening that pin and then lifting up the neck just slightly. It extends fully, but I just want to keep it here just to illustrate what this looks like. You'll see that the head 
can slide around on this ball. So you can get whatever angle you want without having to mess with the different axes, which is really, really nice. You don't have to remember which one is which. It'll go fully to the side as well if I put this up just a little bit higher and see it'll come down all the way. So you can get uh, both landscape as well as portrait shots. That kind of leads me to the only complaint I've really heard about this one, about this tripod is the fact that if I'm a videographer, it's really hard to get a steady pan shot just because I can't lock it on those two axes and only leave it open on one. Uh, it's actually open on all three. So as I rotate this around, depending on how steady your hand is, that may determine how steady your shot is. I do a lot of video, but I don't do video using a tripod. So that wasn't an issue for me. Uh, Peak Design said they actually are working on some sort of enhancement, uh, reinventing yet again this ball head to accommodate that complaint, um, but they needed to get it out to market and have spent years and years developing this, this tripod up until now, and so they weren't too worried about it yet. Overall, I couldn't be happier. I think it's going to be a great addition to my photography kit. Uh, if you have one, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think. If you don't have one and you're thinking of getting one, feel free to leave a question. I usually get back pretty quickly. Thanks a lot and happy shooting.